Wow, what a day. The stand-up paddleboard is the latest revolution in fishing, but I've never done it before. And now, I just shot a whole show with it. Sure, I wobbled a few times and, you know, took a little bit of a learning curve, but I never fell off. I hammered some giant fish. This is easy. Truly, there's nothing I can't do. This is easy. Truly, there's nothing I can't do. Hey, what's up? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. What is sup? Normally, on Facts of Fishing, the whole challenge is, you know, catching the fish. And that may be the challenge here today, but the real challenge is going to be getting to the fish. This show is going to be a little different. I told you this show is going to be different. You heard of Mr. Canoe Head? This is the new version. Doing this for you guys because I care. Man, does not get much sexier than this. If you were to go to the store and buy yourself a bass fishing calendar, there'd be an image just like this. That would be a good spot to live if I were a bass. Right there. Mm, eat it. I may have to work the edge till later on. Till the sun gets higher. Probably a few in here, but... This is probably, you know, this is... This is my moment. And what I mean by that is like growing up, and I think everybody has it, no matter what your favorite fish to fish for is, there's a moment in your life where you're like, whoa, I like this. And I remember as a kid just throwing a top water around lily pads, and I still remember the blow up. It was this kind of fishing that made me say, I, I, need to, I need to do this. I need to do this more. Come on, bass. Eat. Scare me off my paddleboard. Crazy thing when you're fishing a little back lake like this. Every single cast, you know it could happen any second. Come here, dude. You are much too small to act that tough. Easy. Oh, look how that dude ate it. Not a giant at all. But for a little fish, he absolutely garfed that frog down. See you, buddy. You know, one of the first things I'm noticing with this style of fishing, it's got a huge advantage to traditional bass boat fishing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not about to trade in my Skeeter for one of these bad boys, but in certain situations, it really seems to have a big advantage. And what I mean is, you know, generally when I hook a fish, I mean, I gotta get that trolling motor and get through this stuff. And as quiet as that trolling motor is, you still ram, bam, slam your way into that structure. Basically, you hook a fish back here, momentum pulls you back there. Between you pulling and the fish pulling, you get right back to that area. And the big advantage of that is, Generally, if I've you know, banged my way back here with the trolling motor, I spooked all these fish. It's game over. There's no more fish. Well, now, it's like being a bass fishing ninja. Wow. I can karate kid the bass. I mean, I'm not afraid to... What was that move? I'm not afraid to pop it off right here. Karate kid one leg, the crane kick. I mean, that'd be showing off. I, I could do it on this board. Don't kid, don't kid yourself. I mean, I could do it right now, but I don't want to show off. I'll just stand here wobbling. Oh, gotcha. Good one, too. Good one. Come here. <laughs> oh, come here, dude. That's a good one right there. Oh, stay on, dude. Oh, that's the kind. 
I came out here in the surfboard, fishing for them. Ah, and I'd like to stay on the surfboard and catch him. <laughs> Look at that dude right there. Munch that frog. That right there is a frog eating machine. Mm, I like it. Look at the yap on that dude. Eating the frog ain't no problem for him.